it needs to come to fruition that the reason the word nigger hurts is because of racial pride. That has nothing to do with slavery at this point. Because I, for one, don't give a damn about slavery or people losing their individual autonomy and being placed in an institution where they're basically doing other people's bidding. If that was the case, I'd be offended when I was called a student. Although, it's a different institution, and you're not being removed of your autonomy. You're just being placed in a tyrannical institution. Probably even more tyrannical now that I think about it. But of course when I see that black people are legitimately triggered sometimes when they hear that word, I realize that's racial pride. That's what it is. Don't try to make it a slave thing, even if it was once a slave thing. That's what liberals are trying to make it. That's their belief, their belief, is that it's a race thing. And of course, conservatives and other groups are going to try and find other ways around it. It's racial pride. It's the same with Spick. If a Spanish or Hispanic person of a mestizo variety or anything around that level, it doesn't have to be mestizo, it could be castizo, here's that word directed to them. They're going to be offended because of racial pride, of ethnic pride. That's that's the nature of being triggered. You got guys have pride on something. Someone's talking shit about it. And you're annoyed by it. And really, that's how it should be. To some degree. The reactions to it tend to be corny and ridiculous caricature and take into a an off direction. <laughs> like if I was called Spick or something like that, cracker, honky, retard, aspartarian or something of that nature. I basically be annoyed by a select few of those things, and those are things that I do identify with. However, I'm willing to self-deprecate on some of those things given proper context. Some people aren't willing to self-deprecate on anything, and some people self-deprecate way too much. Like, when people walk all over you and essentially try to ransack everything about you, to the point that it hurts a collective, that's when the self-deprecating needs to stop. But otherwise, you're being a tyrannical asshole. And there's no way around it. You're advocating for thought police because you're incapable of 
lowering your ego and learning to realize that at the root of it all, it's not that serious. It only becomes serious when it causes actual harm to other people. And that's the modern environment. There are protected groups, there are groups that aren't protected. Some people are going to say, hey, my group is protected, black guys protected, uh, aren't protected, or white guys aren't protected. In reality, white guys aren't a protected group. But we need to get rid of the solipsism and learn to balance our thoughts. Because if we don't balance our thoughts, we become dominated by emotions and irrationality and a weakened intuition. We learn to avoid trusting our intuition and we just start trusting short-term instincts that go nowhere. That's a weird dichotomy. Instincts and intuition. I'm not trying to appeal to the INTJ, INTP crowd entirely. Because not everyone operates on rationalism, rationalism, rationalism. I think YouTube needs to get off that person's sick. We need a stronger derogatory term for that bullshit. There needs to be some avenue for holistic thoughts. I was just Mr. Wonka 7, and hope you guys have a shitty day. Y'all can go to hell.